if you're not a good reader and you're at school, it's an uphill battle. But what do we know if we take those same children and we take them out of that environment and we put them in an environment where they can be successful, where they feel recognized for the things that they can do? They come alive. They feel more comfortable making an effort, trying, trying to do things that previously had been very frightening to them, like trying to read. When we begin to recognize that the shortcoming almost always is in the learning environment and not something that resides solely within the child, that's the point at which we can begin to bring about the kinds of instructional change that lead to better learning and children who can then begin to rewrite an internal script. One that says, I am a capable learner. I, in fact, I like learning. I like trying to read because when I try to read with this reading teacher, I feel confident. I feel successful. I am learning. And indeed, we now know that emotion and cognition, you know, thought processes are deeply related. And we must approach education in a way that takes both into account the emotional state, not just the cognitive state, because that's when we have an opportunity to really help children progress and engage and flourish.